So just to unpack some quick terminology, because a lot of stuff gets thrown around, it can be confusing. For me, in general, if somebody says, hey, I think this kid has a pneumonia, like say I'm going into the intensive care unit and one of my colleagues signs out and says, you know, we had an 18 month old come in, they got very sick and we had to put them on the ventilator. I think they have a pneumonia. If that's all they say to me, what I usually think they mean is, oh, I think they have a typical bacterial pneumonia. So the next question for them is gonna be, oh, well, what antibiotics did you put them on? But when we say pneumonia, what I just said is all it really means is that something causing an infection has gotten into the alveoli. So really, you can have anything cause a pneumonia. You could have a viral pneumonia. We sometimes see this with influenza, or you could have an RSV pneumonia rather than just bronchiolitis. You could have a fungal pneumonia from candida or aspergillus, not very common, usually with patients who are immunocompromised. You could have a typical bacterial pneumonia, say strep pneumonia is pretty common or haemophilus influenza, or you can have an atypical bacterial pneumonia like we're talking about today. So what's the point of this aside? Well, it's just to say, look, if somebody says, hey, I think your child has pneumonia, what they're usually communicating to me at least is a bacterial pneumonia. But if they qualify it and say, hey, I think your child has an atypical pneumonia, or I think they have a walking pneumonia, or I think they have a viral pneumonia. Those are really critical qualifications because they're just saying, I think there's an infection in the lung tissue, but the response is gonna be different based on what's causing that infection or what's causing that pneumonia. 